All right. Uh, it is the Odd Couple live from the TireRack.com studio. And, uh, man, this might be a sad interview. I know the people in Philadelphia, they had their panties in a bunch this morning. This is our Fox Sports Radio weekend host, colleague, the creator and host of the All City Network, has done a great job in Philadelphia radio for years. So he knows the city and its teams as well as anyone. We welcome in friend of the show, Anthony Gargano. Anthony. What was that last night? Oh my God. Brothers, I, I, I am so... I don't even understand it, all right? <laughs> I, I don't understand. First of all, the embarrassment of how they tackled, right? Like, yes. oh. that was one thing. We, like, we might as well have been out there trying to tackle God. It was so bad, so bad. Ah, oh, my God. Like, could, could, that, for, that hurts the soul of a Philadelphian who was born right. with Reggie White and Brian Dawkins and all the great, you know, defensive players that came through this town. So that alone was just disgraceful. But here's the bigger picture. And this is what I just, I'm just perplexed at. So they're 10 and 1. And they fall off the, the, the face of the earth. Like the earth is flat, right? They fall right off of it. Right. But Nick Sirianni, this dude who was in the Super Bowl, so like we all saw the, the tear like fall during the national anthem, right? He's, He's like a, a good chirp away of winning the Super Bowl. Right? Like, think about it. He makes the playoffs three straight years, including yep. this one, and the dude had no answers. And I'm just, I can't, I can't fathom this. That, like, they got to go now, and I think there's a good chance that they're going to look around and, and see if they need to replace him. Let me now, ask let me, you this, Ant, quick. If, if you, has he lost the locker room? Is that why? Because that team, that was more than just a bad game. That was a team that looked lifeless. And to me, that speaks of some, something went on, whether it was him yeah. losing the team, something in the locker room, something in the organization. I don't know. But that was beyond the football field. Would you agree? Yeah. So uh, you also had the A.J. Brown trauma, right? Yep. Yep. So that all plays out too, where you know he scrubs his social media of all stuff Eagles, and then he deletes it, and then he's had a fight in Atlantic City. I, you know, whatever the guy, me, you know, whatever the deal is. But like, there was always this like thing around there, and then he actually, Sirianni said he covered for him, and it was like just weird. So there's a lot of weirdness, but just the football standpoint, right? Like they couldn't figure out. How to how to beat a blitz? Like right. everybody knew Todd Bowles was going to blitz them, right? Everybody knew that, right? They, yep. they, they, there's no one. There's no hot reads. There's nothing. Like he acts like he. I mean, like listen, both his corners got poached, and both of them were not good this year. Well, if you're an offensive guy and you see the ship go off the, you know, hitting the iceberg, don't you take over the the, the, the play calling? You're an offensive guy. Well, remember when he well, did not, that his first year, they were two and five when he well, called. But, but let me, Anthony, you bring up the point, and 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 Chris will tell you. I I thought there's no way that Jalen Hurts repeats what he did the year ago. I was looking at the team and saying, you lose your offensive coordinator, you lose your defense coordinator, and some players on defense, right? And I'm like, even when they were ten and one, I wasn't buying in, and and I I don't know, is it fair? that Seriani uh, should be totally to blame when you think about the difference between a year ago and the team. Just that part. Yeah, I, I, and again, you know, Robbie, like I, and I feel you, I get you, and everything you said turns out to be true and it, it arced that way. And listen, there was a couple wins that they were probably fortunate and everything else. Right. But I guess what surprises me, though, is you just had no answers, like basic right. stuff. Okay. Like that's... Like, that's my biggest issue. Like, I love the guy. I thought the guy was a great, like, young, sharp, like, the whole thing. But all of a sudden, everything became antiquated. Like, there's no pre snap emotion, nothing. Like, yo, dude, you got to do more than, than just your RPOs. And by the way, Jalen wasn't even involved in the rush game, which made him so dangerous. 
Well, it looks like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if in a week or so or even less, we hear about some type of off-season surgery with Jalen. Yeah, a little yeah, clean up in the yeah, yeah there's, think, some, there's something going on there, up? right? Or I, I should say Yeah, but injured. you know what? Look, listen, I, I said the same thing. I feel the same way. Like, there's got to be something there with his health and all this stuff. But, listen, I watch that tape over and over again. Baldy and I do this show where it's all film study. And I watch him and I watch him. And I don't see any lilt, any any limp, nothing. Right now, maybe he is. He just doesn't look fast, you know. You know, you know? There, but like, there's nothing. And here's the other thing: he's escaped, like his eyes are down, right? He's he's not looking down the field. He's not recognizing stuff. Like last year, he was he played. Like, see everything CJ Stroud is doing right now. I mean, that was Jalen yeah. last year, right? Like doing everything. Like he he was. Uh, Pinpoint accurate. He did all that stuff. And and it's like he forgot how to play football. Like I guess Kane Steichen left, but it, it's 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 bizarre, fellas. It really is. How confident are you that Jalen you know, they made the mistake with Carson Wentz off one good year. How how afraid is Philly that this could be history repeating itself? Ah man, you know that people are already they've been talking about that all the last seven weeks. It's oh, been, I believe you know, it. Jalen Wentz. Like that's, that's oh, is that the name, Jalen Wentz? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, and everybody, and you, you got you, you, you can't even like get mad at it because you know that Wentz thing was a shell shocker, right? Like, you know, right. he was the franchise quarterback, and you know the whole thing, and and he's on his way to win MVP when he gets hurt and they win the Super Bowl, and then he just turns into like you know rotting wood. <laughs> like it's right, it's, it's crazy. So people are freaked out. There's oh my god! Talk, what's going on here? One of the names that we've seen, yeah, I, look, they still got Sirianni right now, but obviously Belichick's yeah. available, and there's been talk of people have said, he, including me, that he would look good in Philly. How do you think that would fit? And what are like, what's the city? Are they clamoring for a Belichick? Or like, tell me about this. Yeah, they're they're right now they're they're so upset with Sirianni they want to change. All right, I you know I, most people you know most fans I talk to they're just red, and it's it, I still can't believe it right because you win you you got your head coach three years in a row you make the playoffs and you go to a Super Bowl I mean it's uh, insane it but is insane most, right but most people want to change Belichick now Jeffrey Lurie has New England ties and he's always you know had this New England thing working. Right. But I don't. I for some reason I don't. I don't think. I don't think he goes that route. That would not be his type of choice. I know he likes young. I know that he likes you know uh, an offensive guy and open it up and innovator and that sort of thing. So uh, you know, unless and here's the other thing. Like if you're you know Atlanta, which makes the most sense, right? You're Arthur Blank. You go get a quarterback. You got a good defense. You got Bijan, Kyle Pitts. Like Belichick makes a lot of sense there. The Cowboys, you got that thing working. Right. So who knows what Jerry does? And it makes a lot of sense there. I don't know. And here's the other issue with the Eagles. And if they do blow Sirianni out, other than Belichick, right? You're not getting hardball. I, I don't think. Right. So you know, unless you 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 go make the big splash and right. try to get and try to get them. I mean. You know, he got Chip Kelly once once upon a time, so that's always a possibility that he goes and gives the Chargers a run and says, hey, you know, you could be down 95 from your brother. Yeah, that's true. Um, I know we got about another minute or so. Just what's your gut? Obviously, uh, you know, you don't have any sources saying what's going to happen. Can, can Sirianni, can he survive this? Like, can people after the shock of last night – you know, you, you think about it, you talk about it for a week, you realize what you yeah. went through. You know what I mean? And, and look at the yeah. whole season and say, we won 11 games, we lost a lot, our quarterback really wasn't healthy. I'm, I don't know. I'm just saying, can he survive yeah, that? I, I, mean, I mean, think about it. Rationally speaking, right. you go back and get two new coordinators and you say, all right, well, let, let's try to fix this thing, right? Like, I, I could see that. The only problem is, he couldn't fix it, mm. and he's an offensive guy. And the only thing I come back to is, so you go get a new OC, the OC comes in, you have success, 
then he leaves the key coach. He gets a coaching job. Right. What happens? Is, are we back to what ground zero again? Like he's not going to be able to handle it. Like, like at some point, this is what disappoints me about Nick is that he didn't step in. And I know what you said about calling the plays early in his career, but now you're into it, right? Now you're three years in. You see right. the thing going awry. You got to be. You designed the That's offense. A good point. You, you got to be able to come in and and, and fix it. That's my right. biggest worry with him. Can he fix it? Nah, that's a good that's a good point, no doubt. All right, that's our man Anthony Gargano. Oh, Check man. him out here hey, on Fox Sports Anthony, Radio on weekends. Anthony, did you kick your TV set in? Be honest, last night, what'd you do? Yeah, yeah, I threw. <laughs> I, 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 I threw. I got this weird, like heavy, like football paperweight. Right, and I threw it. Yeah. I know you did. I already know you I, did. I, I, I already know. It. it was really because of the attack, like. Like that the, was I. I haven't there. seen that in any. I agree. Game. Chris that and I talked about it. it was I've terrible. Terrible. In, in All right, Anthony, ball. relax. Good Don't job, blow brother. Thank you. All right, my brothers.